Okay guys, got a little 15 horse game picture here. I'm gonna do a car clean on it. It's the same as a Chrysler. It's the same as Force. They're all the same motor pretty much. And uh, I'm gonna walk you through on the steps I do to clean the car and get it going. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these 10 millimeter bolts. One, two, and three. On this 10 millimeter bolt here, you'll need a 10 millimeter wrench also because there's a nut on the back side and it's the bolt that's on the front of the pull rope. To get this little neutral safety bracket off, all I did was undo it right here. There's a little 10 millimeter nut. Take that off and it'll slide right off there. Just like that. Okay guys, I got my nuts off on both sides. This is your fuel pump hose that goes through your fuel pump. You'll need to take it off also. Take it off and then you should be able to slide your car right back and come right off with it. You got a choke lever right here. If I can get the camera to focus. There it is. Choke lever is right there. There's a little pin down there. To get this choke lever out of here, it'll say warm up or choke right here. There's a little pin right there. Take your flathead, take that pin, slide it up just like that. Slide it back till it's an open lock, unlocked. And then you can take it and you can pop it choke lever right out of there and then just pull your choke lever forward okay guys I got my carburetor out I'm gonna pull the bowl off pull the bowl off I'm gonna pull this one seven sixteenth nut off the bottom all right I got the nut off time to take the bowl off there's the bowl it's not bad it does have a bunch of grime in it looking down in there ain't bad this is your high speed jet right here. This is your main jet of your carburetor. I'm gonna pull the float off. To pull the float off, this one pin right here. I need to push it out from, from this side, pushing it this way. Because as you can see right there, you see the little grooves in the pin. That means it needs to be pushed out in that direction okay got my pin out now it's time to pull the float up and the needle okay got my pin out now it's time to pull the float up and look at the needle pull my float up if there's where the needle rest that's the tab right here's your float needle I'm going to need to clean it real good too. Okay, I'm going to clean it through here, here, and here. Now, I'm going to use compressed air. You can use carb clean or whatever you want to use. But you need to clean those really good. Okay, guys, I got my carb clean. Got it clean through there. I'm going to blow it out some more, but I want to show you what I got done on the jets. You can see through the jets real good. I'm gonna start reassembling it. First thing off, I'm gonna put my needle back in. And when you're looking at your needle, get it to focus here. You wanna look at this rubber tip right here. Make sure it's still there and make sure it's still good. Cause if not, you're never gonna get your float to seal right. All right. Then you just put your rubber tip back down in there. I mean rubber tip on the float needle back in. Put your carburetor bowl or float back down in its groove and then slide your pin back in the way that it came out. Okay guys, once you get your float and needle back in, 
you want to make sure your needle is not sticking. It's right in there in that little gap. I don't know if you can see it. A little gap right there. But you want to go up with your float bow and then back down. And you see it falling? That's what you want. You don't want it to go up and just stick. And then another thing to check is your float blow level. You want to make sure this floats a little bit. It's level just like the carburetor. This one's off. I'm going to have to adjust it up just a little bit to about right there. And you do that by this little metal tab right here. You just push down on it until you get your float blow or float level with the bow. This one needs to come up to about right there. Okay, I moved my tab. As you can see now, it's a lot better than what it was. But that's what you're looking for. You want it to be level with the bow. You want the float to look pretty level across there. And right here's this tab I'm talking about. Right there. There's just a little metal tab. You can push it down or pry it up. And that sets your level on your carburetor on your float. When it comes time to put your float bowl back on, there's a little washer right here. It'll set right here. On top of it, just like that. And then you put your bowl on. Okay, I got my car reassembled. Time for me to go back on the motor. To go back on, I'm just going to slide it back on the studs. And then I'm going to hook my fuel hose up. And, and then I'm going to slide my two nuts in. Okay, next I'm going to put my choke lever back on. And to do that, you want to put this little pin back in. And all it does, it slides on that bracket right there. And you put your lever in, and then you push this over it. Okay, as you can see, I got my choke lever in. All I'm going to do is just slide this bracket back down. Just like that right there. And that reinstalled your choke. Okay, got both my lines back on. Carburetor is installed. Now time to put the pull start back on and be ready to run. Okay guys, got my pull rope back on here. I took this neutral safety mechanism off mine because it's broke. But you don't want to forget to redo that whenever you put yours back on if you want to use it. I'm going to put my nut back on here and tighten it down so this doesn't come loose. But I'm not going to run my neutral safety because it's broke and I'm just, I just—I ain't going to put it back on there for now. But put your three 10 millimeters back in and you should be ready to hook fuel up to it and see if it'll start and run. Got you going, man. It runs pretty good. It's got a smoke in the barrel. Ain't nothing you can do about that. Got a pop of water and all.